حقارة سجار خطارة جيش نحن البلا سيادة ما فيش كلام زيادة ضربتنا في السوادة وجاها بوكادة ندق دك حسادة نجيب للغيادة تبيب قرى الجرادة نحن هي العريف وسود ناس حجين ما بنخطف الضلع نحاكي المرفعين العين تشوف العين نجيبوا راس الضلع ما حرمون زي ارفونا من جبال نحن أحد دروء خيل لأننا من صعاب لعيبنا المستعيد نحن النعام عضيل بنطلق النخيل والزول وقت إن خمشوا تمسح بلع التقيل أسعس عليك الخوف وين تجري وين تطير رايك كمل حربوي وقع في برمال اخيا يا ميت عواسيب وطوبة يا حطوبة خلانا خلانا عايز 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 جامعة وفرري روح القوات المدلحة As fighting in Sudan entered a fifth week, airstrikes pummeled Khartoum Saradeh even as representatives of the country's ruling functions continued meeting in Saudi Arabia for talks to prevent a humanitarian catastrophe. Meanwhile, Sudanese continue to flee the ongoing fighting between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. At the Agrin border with neighboring Egypt, new families arrive every day, making the 1,000-kilometer journey from Khartoum through the desert in search for safety. But not everyone has the financial means to be able to leave. The bus ride costs US dollar 250 per person. Then there is the official tariff on both sides of the crossing and rental for a place to live in Egypt. Not everyone can afford this. It's a large expense, said Evakui Waga Gaufar Ibrahim. She said the trip was really tiring and scary, adding that the war in her country had affected everyone. Another issue is that of uh, holding a passport to enable them to enter Egypt. Some families lost their passports in the war or they cannot afford to get one. They are living in the middle of the war zone. I hope they will find someone to rescue them, said Sudanese bus owner Ayman Mohammed. The latest arrivals in Egypt are some of the almost 200,000 people who have escaped Sudan in addition to the hundreds of thousands who have been displaced internally. They are carrying small suitcases all they could bring with them from their lives back home as Ibrahim explained. The United Nations says over a half a million people have fled Khartoum alone with hospitals in the capital shelled and rampant looting reported as residents suffer under chronic shortages of food, electricity and medicines. Hopes for a ceasefire remains dim after multiple truces were violated in past weeks. On Saturday, Sudan launched a call to the international community including the United Nations, the African Union and other regional organizations to provide humanitarian assistance. The government said it was committed to dedicating the port and airports of Port Sudan on the Red Sea, Dongola Airport in the country's north and Wadi Saidna Air Base near the capital to receive aid. Civilians and aid groups have repeatedly pleaded for humanitarian corridors to secure vital assistance as, as aid agencies have been systematically looted and at least 18 humanitarian workers killed. Thank you so much for watching.